The 2-1 win for Milan against Genoa, not enough to lift the Rossoneri up into the top half of the table, though, uh, staying in 13th place. And as it turned out, not enough to save the job of Marco Giampaolo, uh, who was fired by AC Milan after just seven games. It's the shortest tenure of any permanent manager in the history of AC Milan. He is gone after just 111 days at the helm. Gab Marcotti is with us. Extraordinary developments, Gab, especially coming off the back of that dramatic win against Genoa. Why now for Giampaolo? I think the, the, the short answer of why now is that, look, they knew Giampaolo was, was a progressive manager. He was an outside-the-box thinker. It was going to take a long time uh, for the team to, to, to adapt uh, to him, and they were willing to give him that time. Um, but I think the, the sense came that they weren't making any forward progress whatsoever, and I think personality-wise, he was showing that he's just not cut out for the job. He wasn't coping with the pressure. This is the biggest club he's ever managed, uh, <clears throat> both internal uh, and external pressures. He wasn't coping with them. His ideas seemed to be getting foggier and muddier. This was not a case of somebody saying, oh, stick with me, there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, he was just really, really struggling, and so they decided to, to act now rather than later. Uh, and Gab, as a follow-up to that, Milan fans will be asking, well, shouldn't the Rossoneri have known all this about Giampaolo before hiring them? I mean, I think, I think it's a fair question, and there's going to be other people pointing out mitigating factors about how, you know, in the summer they had certain targets and then they ended up with other sorts of players. Uh, certainly, uh, Milan's ultras coming out with a statement saying that, you know, this isn't all just basically down to him. This is down to mistakes that were made in the summer with the signings and, and whatnot. But I just think they just really didn't expect him to just go and, 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 and really crumble like this, especially uh, in his messaging outwards to the media and also inwards uh, to the players. Now, remember also that uh, Zvonimir Boban, uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't part of the decision-making process when Giampaolo was hired. He's a guy with strong views. Um, I'm not suggesting he got him fired, but, you know, you now had another element into the mix. And, uh, and, and so the team basically decided to, or the club decided to, to cut their losses because quite clearly it wasn't going anywhere. Gab, all signs pointing towards uh, Stefano Pioli to be uh, next man up for the Rossoneri. Some very strong signs. He's actually in Milan at the moment. This is his uh, resume, of course, most recently with Fiorentina, Inter, Lazio, uh, Bologna, Palermo amongst his most recent stops. Uh, Pioli out, by the way, already trending on Twitter <laughs> amongst Milan fans who uh, already want him out before he's already arrived. Why is Stefano, Stefano Pioli uh, the right man for Milan, Gab? Well, look, they went and they, uh, they, they pursued uh, Luciano Spalletti, I think probably not as hard as some people think, also because uh, getting Spalletti was extremely uh, expensive. Uh, he still had another two years to run uh, after being sacked by Inter, and, and you know that was it was about 20 million uh, euros left on his deal. Um, I think they like Stefano Pioli because he's he's more of a low-key manager. Uh, he's more of, of a human manager. He's better with uh, with the press, but also at the same time, um, he's a guy who's very good at working with younger players. And obviously, you know that is part of of, of, of Milan's plan now is to push. Uh, the many young players, they've got one of the youngest squads um, in, in the top flight in Europe. Um, and also, he is somebody who, when he was at Fiorentina, has shown himself to be uh, quite progressive uh, in terms of, of things like, like uh, counter-pressing, uh, counter-attacking, uh, things like that, which, which mean I think um, are part of the recipe going forward. He's, he's adaptable, he plays fast, um, and, 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 and he is somebody who's very, who's very presentable as well. I think, in, in public, certainly more so than, uh, than Giampaolo. Bottom line, Gab, though, you can change the manager as many times as you like. Is it, is it not true that Milan simply do not have the players to match uh, at least the fans' ambition for the club? Well, uh, if by fans' ambition, you mean are they going to go and add to the seven European Cups uh, that they already have? Um, no, probably no, just, not just, with this just, group just, of players. Just top four, Gab. Let's, let's keep it to that. Finish top four would suffice for most. I think, 
I think they have a shot. Obviously, they're not, they're not favorites, but I don't think that's beyond the realm. Certainly getting back into Europe would be a step forward. Um, I know this squad's been criticized by many who, who like chasing big names. Let's not forget, this is the reason why, part of the reason why Rino Gattuso uh, isn't there anymore. You know, he resigned because he said, oh, no, we need three solid veteran experienced players, high-value players, and it's just not going to happen now. So Pioli will work with the kids. They have a ton of talented kids in there from, uh, from, from Benacer to, to Krunic to Rafael Leal. Uh, Paqueta's not old either. Uh, Romagnoli at the back. So they got Calabria. They got a bunch of Theo Hernandez. They got a bunch of these guys. And um, they feel that Pioli's the kind of guy who can fashion them into a team, play attractive football, and, and really you know, help the process of bringing Milan back. At the same, at the same time, um, my understanding is they're not going to commit long term to him. You know, they see him as somebody for the time being who, who can take them through to the end of the season and then they'll see where they are. Uh, this is a great opportunity for Pioli as well. If he's on the right track, uh, they may well end up continuing with him. But, you know, this isn't somebody who they brought in, signed to a five year contract, a big name where they then have to go and throw good money after bad. Uh, they are thinking in the here and now, but at the same time, they feel that, you know, they're also building for the type of football. And with the type of footballers um, that, that Milan think that they need right now. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.